What's up guys, it's Satan, and today we're gonna to go through how Drake's God's plan was made. Let's get into the video. This beat was produced by Cardo, Young Exclusive, Boy Wonder, and Noah Forty Shabib. God's Plan was one of the most challenging songs for me to recreate. I tried to remake it over a year ago, and I couldn't do it, but we're back at it again with some new knowledge, some new skills, and we were able to conquer this song today. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little bit of a cold. I'm currently recovering from COVID. I had to get this video out because Cymatics said if I didn't, they'd kill me. Thanks to Cymatics for sponsoring this video, making it possible. Go check out their brand new free sample pack, Orchid, in the description below, which contains over three gigabytes of free samples for RM be trap, pop, dancehall, and more. And it's essentially a preview of what will be included in their upcoming sample pack, Vibes, which will be released on April 29th. And I spoke to the guys at Cymatics about this pack, and they said they spent countless sessions with some of the most talented musicians and vocalists around the world to bring you guys some of the highest quality samples for free. And these samples are all 100% royalty free, so you have full licensing rights to distribute and publish your music using these samples. Now, let's jump into the remake. God's Plan is one of Drake's most popular songs. It is the most popular song from his album, Scorpion, released in 2018 and it's currently his second most popular song of all time just behind one dance and comment below which of these songs you would like me to cover in future videos a bit of background about this song the beat was first created by Cardo got wings which he said in interviews that he used VSTs for this so he didn't use any samples in this beat he created all of this stuff on VSTs which I will also be doing today boy wonder did some additional production and sped it up and pitched it up so what we'll be doing is when we create the samples we will be speeding them up and pitching them up to emulate what happened in the original song Let's start off with the sample. I'll show you the end result and then we'll go through the entire process of how this sample is made. So this is what we're going to work towards. So this is how I made the sample. To make the sample, first off, we're gonna go into Omnisphere and the preset we're using is the Boombox Vibrato Organ and go into Oscillator A and we're gonna bring up the attack to 0.13 in the amp and we're playing these chords first off without any effects. Then you want to go to control and we're going to channel pitch and as you can see we're bringing up the pitch up to around 60 70 cents so we're pitching this up just over half a semitone now let's right click on the pattern and go render and replace so this is going to convert the midi into an audio clip now let's just chop off the tail and go to focus audio clips turn on stretch and we're going to stretch this in until it's on tempo so now it's going to sound like this next up we're going to add this to the mixer and we're going to be putting on some effects first off we're adding some fruity chorus which adds a big spacey effect. Then we're adding RC20 for some added air distortion, wobble, space reverb. So that's gonna sound like this. And this is a really important plugin. It's gonna be bringing out the top end. Next up, we're adding Fruity Compressor and LFO Tool. And LFO Tool is a really underrated plugin because it allows you to modulate multiple filters. So this is giving the sample more bounce. So without it, then with it, Next up, we're adding Ozone Pro Imager, and we're going to be automating the stereo width of band one. So as you can see, this part here. So this is automating the stereo image to make it pulse, which you can see happens in the original song. Now, and this is where the magic happens. We're gonna be adding sound shift to pitch stereo, which is basically, it's like pitch wheel. We're bringing up the pitch by four semitones. And this is to emulate what Boy Wonder did when he took this sample that was produced by Cardo. He pitched it up and he sped it up. So now it's gonna sound like this. It's starting to take form. This is the final step, we're adding three EQs and these are just getting rid of some of the frequencies that we don't want, some of the resonant frequencies. So we're doing lots of boosting and cutting. It's gonna sound like this. I tweaked the effects a few times and landed on this as the closest version I could make to the original song. That's how you make the sample. Next up we have the drums. Then on the kick, we're gonna be increasing the attack or the transient, the punchiness of the sound by using DS10 Drum Shaper. Then we're adding some Decapitator just to add some distortion to the kick. So this is before and this is after. Next up, we have the clap. This is the Sony D-Clap 03 and that plays with the Mego perk. They're gonna sound like this. Then we're coming in with the hi-hat. For the hat, we're using the BWB Upgrade Hi-Hat 10. 
which as you can see, we have taken up by 50 cents. So this is the, is the Hi-Hat, and this is the original song. So just watch here, original, Hi-Hat. And just right click on the audio clip and go fill each two steps. So that's gonna sound like this. And that plays with this cowbell. Next up, we have the 808. As you can see, it's been pitched up by 50 cents as well as basically all the other percussion in this song. And we're playing this pattern. Let's go quantize and we're making some chops here, 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 here. So it's gonna sound like this now. It's also worth mentioning that the kick has been side chained to the 808, which means that when they play together, you can see the kick is that purple area and the 808 is this white area. And when they play together, the purple area is where the 808 is being cut out when the kick is playing. I've explained this a few times. If you don't understand that, just watch all my other videos. Then we have some new perks coming in. We have a second hi-hat. And we also have some rim shots. And that's gonna sound like this. Then we have some synths coming in. Really weird sound. Found this sound on Omnisphere. It's the Bell Synergies, which is the first preset you're gonna find in the Bells and Vibes category. And it's gonna sound like this at first. Bear with me, it's gonna sound really weird. I know, what the hell is that sound? So we're gonna bring this into the playlist and go render and replace. Then we're going to stretch this in because once again, Boy Wonder sped up the original beat that was produced by Cardo. Then we're gonna be reversing it. Then for effects, we're gonna be adding some pitch shifter, bringing it up by 8.5 semitones. Then I'm not exactly sure what this technique is called, but I see this happen sometimes in music. What people do is they add distortion, then a low pass filter, then more distortion, then another low pass filter. And you do this process to distort and crush the sample as much as possible. Then we're gonna be adding a side chain, chorus and reverb. This was a very complex process and it was easily the hardest part of the song for me to recreate. So this is the before and after. So in the song. Then we're making one more pattern with this Bell Synergies preset. And this is where we're coming into the chorus. It's gonna sound like this. Such a weird sound. I don't know what they were smoking when they came up with this melody. So once again, we exported and reversed this sound. Then for effects, we're adding some RC20, some Fruity Love Filter, kickstart, and finally a pitch shifter. So it's gonna sound like this. So in the song. Then we have one more preset coming in. This is a bass preset from Silent with a saw wave table and a sine wave table. Anyway, this is the final result. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.